Power Gons are a powerful tool that allow you to execute a short layout command script uh, by attaching it to a polygon and then later using it in layout. So I thought we could take a look at setting up Power Gons and, uh, and, and using them. So I'm going to start by just drawing a box. Okay. And I want to attach a layout command script to this polygon. Well first it would help if I knew what layout command scripts, uh, scripts to use and, um, and how to do it. But if I go over to the setup tab I see that I can add a power gun and it already has something in there for me but um, I want to build my own. By default it has a, a setup that um, applies a of spotlight to a certain location and things like that but let's uh, let's add a null so the first thing I'm going to do is head over to layout so that I can figure out how to do that if I go over to utilities and open up the command history okay this allows me to um, see a list of uh, everything that I'm doing in the scene if I grab my camera and start moving it it says what I, the add position I'm adding those values to the position if I grab the light now I'm adding the position to those if I come over to the items tab and add a null and I'm gonna give it a name let's call this William and click OK it says add null William if I click on it it drops it down here and I can copy come over to modeler go to add power gun paste Okay, and I'll hit OK, and let's go to layout and clear that scene out. Clear scene. Okay, go back to Modeler, and I'm going to save this off, and I'm just going to save this as uh, box power zero zero one. Okay, let's send this over to layout with this object selected actually let me change it to wireframe mode so we can see with this object selected I'm going to come over to items add convert power guns, and it adds that null and look the null, null's name is William so it allowed me to quickly add a null just by converting it now I could have added the null and named it but what if I wanted it in a certain location and and things like that so what we'll do is um, we'll add to our, our power gun. So I'm going to clear the scene, pop over to Modeler, and on that polygon that we had selected, I'm going to go to Add Power Gun, and I'm just going to add to what I have here. So the thing to know is there are certain commands that, that you can use that will, um, uh, that will help you write this, uh, this power gun out. So the first thing is, is that you can end a certain command by doing forward slash R so that means okay we've added the null and we've named it William what's the next command you don't need to end the final command with a forward slash R it's just when you're ready for a new command so I'm gonna say position I want to position the null um, space forward slash C if you do a forward slash C that says uh, that you want to find the position of the polygon center uh, in XYZ. So instead of having to, to figure out what the X, XYZ um, is for this, I can just find the center with this right here. So I'm going to click OK, save, send it over. Uh, let's go into wireframe. And now when I convert power guns, I've got it attached to, or I've got it um, centered on the center of that that polygon. So not only did I create a null named William, I've positioned it at the center of the polygon that I had selected. Okay, so that could speed things up, especially if you're wanting to um, to create a lot of nulls and place them in specific locations. Uh, let's do one more um, setup that will um, maybe give you an idea of why you might want to do this, because attaching a or, or placing a null to the center of that polygon might not seem like uh, it fits in a in a pipeline for you but what I'm gonna do is delete this create a new box so so that we can just be starting from scratch okay so I've got my my box and I'm gonna create some skeletons so I'm gonna go over to the setup tab create skeletons and I'm gonna make a hip bone a thigh bone 
uh, lower leg or calf bone, and then a little ankle bone. Okay, I'm going to select um, this point, the tip of my calf or the, the base of my ankle, and go to Info. And I'm going to write down these values, the XYZ values. So 0, 800, uh, that's negative 800, and 100 millimeters. Okay. So I always have a little scratch pad uh, when I work, but I, I went ahead and wrote those down and now I know exactly where that location is. I'm going to select uh, this skeleton, come over to add power gone, and I'm going to add null. Instead of William, I'm going to change this to goal because this can be our IK goal for the leg. And I want to position it, but instead of centering it, I'm going to type in those values. So 0 space minus 0 0.8. Uh, and space uh, 0 0.1 okay and now I've applied that there I'm going to save send this over to layout go to wireframe I need to make sure that I have my object selected I'm going to go ahead and convert those skeletons so set up convert skeletons and then I'm going to go over to convert powergons and look at this if I was setting up an IK chain I already have my uh, IK goal where it needs to be so that I can go ahead and set it up. Okay? There's all sorts of things that you can do. You can parent um, uh, new items that you build to other items. You can um, get item IDs and all, all kind of things. So power guns are great. I've seen power guns used to build entire character rigs just by uh, loading it up and clicking convert power guns and you can watch it build the the setup uh, but this is just a quick look at using uh, power guns you attach a power gun to a selected polygon in modeler under the setup tab add power guns if you want to get rid of a power gun just select the polys that you want to remove power guns from and you can clear power guns here you can also, once you have your paragons attached to the object, you just come over to layout and you have to make sure that you have the object selected that has the paragons and you just come over to items, add, convert paragons and you're ready to go.